It was a packed audience at the James Monroe High School in the Soundview section that included over 40 leaders representing the city, state, and federal government, as well as two foreign countries. All there to hear Borough President Ruben Diaz Jr. deliver his fourth State of the Borough address in the auditorium of his alma mater. I stand before you at Monroe campus here in Soundview where it all started for me. You see, I never would have thought that so many years later I would serve as the chief executive of my hometown. A hometown that is not the same one he grew up in. After years of urban decay, massive investment in the Bronx, along with low crime, has ushered in a new era Diaz Jr. calls the New Bronx. The New Bronx is a place that saw almost $1.5 billion of new investment just last year. The New Bronx is a place where we have helped to create or retain thousands of new jobs, and we will create thousands more. That, ladies and gentlemen, damas y caballero, that is the new Bronx. Beyond proposals and initiatives, Diaz Jr. named the projects that are already shifting the course of the Bronx. We've seen brew, a Bronx brewery break ground on a new facility in Port Morris, bringing our borough its first brewery since, get a load of this, 1968. All this could not have come at a better time as the borough prepares to see an increase in tourism as it celebrates its 100th anniversary. Tourism remains a great way to help our small businesses grow. And this year we expanded on many of our existing programs while also introducing new ones. Diaz Jr. also addressed education, citing some of the current challenges that exist. The facts are clear. We, ladies and gentlemen, have a significant disconnect between the skills needed to compete in the economy and those available in the workforce. Citing a report his office released showing Bronx students underrepresented in specialized high schools, he's calling for more gifted and talented programs in the Bronx and alternative methods of admissions. Some of the brightest middle school minds and students are of the city, if not the nation, live right here in the Bronx. It is time for the Department of Education to give those kids the resources which they need to succeed. It was fantastic. He laid out a, a, a great plan for tomorrow. I think his quote uh, from President Lincoln about, you know, the future being one day at a time really speaks to his approach. We are in a new era. We're in a new age. And we are addressing a lot of the challenges that our residents face. We're building. We're creating jobs. We're growing our schools, our economy. It's a wonderful opportunity, and I'm so proud to be a partner with our borough president in his efforts. We have stuck together for so long, and it is time for all of us to reap that hard work and move forward with a new inclusive borough. And clearly, he is our champion. I am the president of the Ruben Diaz Jr. fan club. All this has everyone agreeing that the new Bronx is here as investments continue to pour in and as crime levels drop. For BronxNet, this is Arlene Makoko.